Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone right here. I'm Nadia Grill. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eric's. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your father's safe now. I won't let anyone else be harmed. No, Jedi. My orders were no survivors, and it'll be a pleasure to obey. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Who is this Lord Kairos? A master I'm honored to serve. Hmm. My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die. It is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You... We'll talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. Is there any way to override the Sith's commands or shut off the engines? The crew knew how, but the Sith, they're all gone. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blazes. Jedi. Could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! I if we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srekgrula Woska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon, and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. Even I can miss a planet. It's all right, Dune. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. Looks like we're safe, but what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? My role is to take care of your problems and prove the Republic respects and values you. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duin. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello, Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He's from a water planet called, uh... 
Ponji mo. Uo banjo ne alipa isti patoga. I, I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? It's an honor to be working with you. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. An Imperial occupation is reason enough to assist you. Technically, Balmor is not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmor's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. The Republic would be honored to have you. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Now more than ever, we must stand together, and I will prove how much the Republic cares about you. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. A Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Ty, Jedi got his reward. Balmora in the Republic. Mine? A seat in the new government, please. I can't imagine you settling down to paperwork and election campaigning. I have fresh ideas. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. Any shadow of the dark side could doom Balmora before this rebirth has begun. Jedi speak. Always useful. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hmm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. I'm sure your skills and experience will continue to serve us well. Sure, since Jedi attract fighting. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? The Empire knows a communications array when it sees one. Maybe, but I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up, so it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quest? Are you hiding something from the other diplomats? Not, uh, e not exactly. Quest is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, Attis Station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. Thank you for bringing this information to me. They're still deciding the best course of action. <clears throat> Isn't that what they accuse the Republic of always doing? 
At his station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. I will do everything in my power to help. Thank you, thank you. I just wish I knew more about the situation there. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But Father, Attestation is built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. The faster I get in, the sooner I can protect the scientists there. See, Father? We stand the best chance of saving everyone if I help. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Kawesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. Fried to a proverbial crisp. Crude, but sadly quite effective. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. You should always be mindful of your welfare, but I could use your help. Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's alright. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. The airlock's closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. There must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. With luck, they got inside before the enemy spotted them. Maybe we can sneak them out? If there's... Oh no. Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists... It'll be like the Fortitude again. <laughs> Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. And may the Force be with you, Nadia. Ah! You'll end up on a dissecting table for that girl! You'll have to catch her first. As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes. Fascinating. What's her name? She's under my protection. Jedi, if I want the girl, all I need to do is wait. I am Lord Kairos, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? A Jedi enslaved to the bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? It seems my conversations have been less private than I thought. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arad, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora, yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. There you are, Jedi. See? I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before Father starts fretting. I'll meet you there. <laughs>